Well, hello, everyone. This is the Dr. Digital Podcast. And my special guest today is a guy that, despite technical problems, scheduling, what have you, I got to get him on my show. This is Riley Jarvis. And what does Riley do? Well, what he does is very interesting, very fascinating. He has key CEOs who skyrocket their performance in optimizing deep sleep. And I know I need my deep sleep with individual and scientific testing. So you can't believe all the good things that he has to share. You know, this is the only podcast that is dedicated to those people, CEOs, business leaders who want to increase their performance using social audio. And I think this is why Riley fits in perfectly. So if you're interested in that, stick around. You know, we also want to give a shout out to one of the sponsors, a new sponsor here from JJDM Advertising. Their why quality over quantity is the key to effective content. So if you're looking to sponsor the Dr. Digital Podcast, get in touch with me. And also we got a Patreon page, all kinds of good things for you. So with that as an introduction, Riley, thank you so much for joining today. And could you tell us a little bit about your background? How did you get into this fascinating area about sleep? I bet you've been sleeping all your life. Yeah, yeah, seriously. And well, first of all, really appreciate Mickey having me on the show today. My my background's sort of an interesting one. You know, it's interesting with us health coaches. You know, our personal transformation now turn into helping other people as well at the same time. For me, you know, mine's been a pretty long, long one. I've definitely been sleeping a lot from then until now, but it's probably been happening for about 10 years or so. And, you know, 10 years ago, I was a very high achiever. I was in finance. That's what I went to school for. I was working in private e equity investment banking. And it was during that time that um, with six months in, my health sort of started to deteriorate. And it was unlike anything I had felt before. And I ended up having to, I was forced to quit my job. Um, I became bedridden. And the diagnosis from doctors was Crohn's disease after seeing about two dozen doctors. And it was at this point with my back against the wall because the side effects from the medication were so ba bad that uh, you know I was losing weight, I was having brain fog constantly, I couldn't focus anymore, I was drinking coffee, the medication was making me feel even worse. Really had to take health into my own hands. And this is where I started learning about the body and spending literally hours upon hours a day. I, I joke with people, I, I have a, probably a PhD indirectly through all this stuff three years later. But essentially what I was able to do was put my Crohn's into 100% complete remission a couple of years later. After that, doctors really didn't know why. And it was really, you know, one month I would try exercise, one month I would try diet, one month I would try sleep. And when I got to that sleep month, that's right. where everything really changed for me. And that's where I saw my blood markers improving, where everything just, you know, started going along the right track. So it was in this period of time, I just kept going with it. And of course, all these other things definitely mattered. But now, you know, fast forward 10 years later, I'm helping people all around the world now. And it's not that you have to be in a disease state. I'm just showing what's possible through my story. But it's really performance, productivity, and everything else that people can achieve through increasing their deep sleep and REM sleep. Gotcha. So now you've been doing this for like 10 years or so. It, is there something that has changed or is there research that's coming out or what has happened over, let's say, that 10 year period when you've been concentrating in this particular area? Yeah, you know, the subject of sleep is so fascinating. Even now, it's still in its infancy stages. And I like to call them the three amigos. You have diet, you have exercise, and you have sleep. Now, we know a lot about diet. We know a lot about exercise. You go to your personal trainer, you go to a dietitian. But sleep is sort of that neglected one. It's like, how many sleep type of doctors do we know? And we're all sleeping anyway. And it's something if we're doing anyway that we can start to optimize, right? So, um, you know, the science is just continuing to come out showing like all these different benefits, different areas of sleep. I mean, one of my favorite scientists is, is Matthew Walker. He's kind of the figurehead. He's been on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. People can check him out. He's really brought to the forefront of sleep and its importance to people in everyday life. But there's, you know, other scientists as well. But, you know, instead of people going to the scientific literature, they can, you know, use us essentially to kind of break this down and make it easier, easy for people to understand. But really what they're just showing through sleep over the years, you know, when I first started this stuff, we knew sleep was important. Also the culture around sleep was we used, you know, success as this badge of honor. We would sleep less to get ahead. We would drink coffee, get on with it. We'd have sleeping pills or just whatever it is. But now, you know, I'm starting to see that turn around, especially in entre entrepreneurial and CEO world, where if we increase our sleep, we increase the quality of our sleep. Sometimes we can actually sleep less in order to um, get more done with those extra hours. You know, we can just multiply that over days, weeks, years, you know, it's just, the, when you see it on a spreadsheet, it's pretty insane what we can get done sometimes. So really just depends on what your goal is, but you know, through sleep, better relationships, better focus, better productivity, better longevity, reducing disease, whatever that looks like for you, sleep is very, very important for all that. Mm -hmm. Are there some areas that you would say 
that has come out and would say, these are the hot growth areas. In other words, a new information to say, this is what we've discovered and this is what we should apply. Like, are there such things as like the hot things that people are discovering about sleep that we need to know about? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, in, in more of the early days, it was the basic things like dark uh, bedroom. We want to sleep in a cool bedroom environment temperature. We want to minimize light before bed and all these basic things. But now where some of that more advanced focus is, is looking on the hidden stressors inside of the body. And this is where I really like to help my clients with lab test kits. And what we're identifying, just to give a highlight, you know, we're looking at their genetics. We're looking at potentially maybe they have parasites inside of their gut that are causing cortisol spikes that make them wake up in the middle of the night. Maybe they're riding a blood sugar roller coaster. So they wake up in the middle of the night, um, you know, instead of, you know, a blood sugar will drop or blood sugar is too high. This is going to cause a body to respond with adrenaline or cortisol that'll cause it to wake up in the middle of the night. Also, you know, neurotransmitters, people who have excessive dopamine or, you know, that turns into adrenaline. This can be very stimulatory for a lot of people. So that's why maybe they can't get to sleep on time, get to sleep as fast as they want or stay asleep. Also, you know, your hormones too. If you have a poor cortisol rhythm, um, you know, your cortisol is too high at night or maybe too low in the morning, then you're going to feel either too tired throughout the day, or you're going to feel too alert um, or stressed before you go to sleep at night. So some of this, I know sounds a little bit complicated, but this is really the more advanced cutting edge stuff as it continues to come out at the same time. So, um, you know, the more basic stuff, a lot of people are starting to do, you know, the, the cool bedroom uh, sleep hygiene list, all those basic things. But I find with a lot of clients I work with, they're already doing those things. And we really have to go deeper with their biology, especially with the CEO types who are very health conscious, sometimes not all the time, but you know, once, once they do, you know, those top 10 things, now we have to start going a little deeper and taking a more customized, personalized approach. So what would you say, like, you know, I, I think generally it's a generalization to say CEOs are maybe more aware of these things, but perhaps not, like you say, but what would a business owner, let's say a typical business owner who is hearing you or know what you can do, what should they be looking for? And can they kind of get some sense of what's wrong in order to assist them to get better sleep? I mean, are there things that you'd recommend or things that you have you noticed that a person might see themselves? Absolutely. And yeah, you're right. I mean, CEOs is a broad term, but you know, it's any kind of business owner, really anyone who's a high performer. I like to, I like to coin who's just looking to get more out of life and even anybody who's trying to sleep better because they can really optimize it. It's just with the high performers, we're just optimizing more things, but any of this can help people. So what we're generally looking at with a lot of these people, the stress is a big one for them. Now, most people self-assess, they can't sleep. It's about 65%. They can't sleep because of overthinking and because of stress at work, stress with family and stress with projects, deadlines, whatever that looks like. And so what we love to do starting out is first start managing their stress, managing their mind and calming down, you know, their nervous system, whether it's conscious or unconscious running in the background. And a great way we like to do that. I mean, it's always a customized approach. And that's why I love talking with people first. But here are just a few tools that people can use. One is just basic guided meditation. Another one is before you go to sleep at night, you know, a lot of the time we'll wake up because our brain is processing all these things while we're sleeping, especially during our REM sleep stage. And if we're processing too much, it's just like a computer that's taking up too much RAM. We, you know, we won't, our brain won't be able to fully restore. So one little quick hack, and this is kind of new on the science actually, is if you just do a brain dump, super simple, but about an hour before bedtime, do a brain dump in a journal of just everything that comes to mind. It doesn't even have to make sense. Just dump it all on there. And you're essentially emptying your brain, emptying your mind. So now your bandwidth is full. So when your brain is sleeping, it has less of a cognitive load to actually process while it sleeps. And, you know, we can actually tell by these sleep trackers, they can fall asleep easier and they can stay asleep longer at the same time. So first it's the stress piece. Once we get the stress in, under control, we're going to be looking at hidden stressors inside of the body and removing hidden stressors in the body. These are kind of the internal fires that while we're sleeping, instead of our body sleep, um, you know, really restoring our mind, it's trying to fight out these fires. So what does this look like? Uh, poor diet that's potentially causing inflammation. So we're really eliminating a lot of inflammatory types of foods. It's also going to be lifestyle. So what are they doing throughout the daytime? What are they doing for their morning routine? Are they getting sufficient light in the evening routine? Are they starting to reduce their light? So they're getting proper melatonin increase. 
Um, other things would be supplements would be a good one we can use for relief care and then also for sort of a maintenance type program. And then we'll also be looking at uh, exercise is a big one. So yoga is amazing, okay. um, doing certain forms, but it's all based and tailored to sometimes what their genetics are and what that looks like too. And then just rest in general, what they're doing throughout the daytime. Mm -hmm. I mean, something about the process I'm curious about. So what types of things and expertise would you offer? Let's say if a person is interested and they say, yes, I know I've had some trouble, like what kinds of things do you do? And what's the process like for a person to identify and the expertise that you can offer them? Absolutely. So one of them is called the sleep solution system I have, and that's a video-based program. It goes through all these things that I just mentioned, diet, lifestyle, exercise, um, and all the, those other facets. But the second one, and one that's a little bit more um, exclusive, is where I send, it's one-on-one -on -one directly with me, and it's where I send lab test kits directly to their house. And it's anywhere in the world, and I'll send about six core lab test kits. And it's either going to be stool, urine, or saliva. And it comes via FedEx right to their front door. And what they do is they take that test. Once they take it, they call FedEx. FedEx picks it up the same day. It goes to the laboratory in the USA. And then I'll see the results a couple of weeks later. And we're gonna be looking at all their hormones, their gut, uh, their brain neurotransmitters, their body's toxic load, ability to make energy, their genetics, um, and just all these different things happening at once. And it gives us a snapshot at looking as a window under their biology. And then from this, we can take a sniper-like approach instead of this machine gun auto fire approach, you know, just hoping, throwing everything at the wall and hoping something sticks. And instead we give them exactly what their biology needs. And this is where they can get better a lot faster because in this approach where less is more, that's where things can really start going in the right direction. Well, it's really it's a fascinating area, you know, it's like yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty exciting. And I really like the point you're saying that out of this area of our basic health, it's the least really research. So we really helping people because we know a lot about diet and exercise, but if a person has been interested in what you've been saying, because it is a pretty fascinating area, it's got that scientific background to it that really helps out how would they get a hold of you and what would you suggest I mean, what's the process of a person approaching you on this type of thing absolutely so they can email me riley at the sleep .com, or they can just go to the sleep consultant the sleep .com. and on there they can just book a 15 minute free sleep consultation and you know sometimes this one-on-one -on -one exclusive stuff just you know it isn't for everybody whether it's budget or anything else but i'm really just looking to offer somebody personalized uh, suggestions, whether it's the bedroom environment or anything else to really just help them go in the right direction. So from that initial call, that that free assessment that I have with people, this is really where I can start suggesting things going in the right direction. That actually works for them. Um, but on the website too, there's a ton of free resources. You can join the newsletter. Um, I'm, up, I'm usually making about three posts a week on there. So there's just tons of valuable resources if you just go to the sleepconsultant.com or contact me directly. Outstanding. Well, Thank you, Riley, so much. We had a fascinating discussion about all these great things and love that people get that deep sleep. I love that thing because I keep track of my sleep and I go, awesome. yeah, I know I got a good night's sleep because I can see it the next day. So thank uh -huh. you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to tell us a little bit about your background and how to sleep better. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mick. Mick appreciate it. You bet. So this is the Doctor of Digital podcast. Until the next exciting episode, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget, we got a new advertiser and marketer here that's sponsoring the episode. JJ Jam Advertising. They have a great article: Why Quality Over Quantity Is the Key to Effective Content. If you want to be a sponsor of the Doctor of Digital podcast, get a hold of me. Also, got a community on Patreon. All those kinds of things. Until the next episode, take care. See you next time. Day is of old.